Welcome to Montpellier. If you're new to the channel or you just missed my last couple of videos, welcome. My name is Claire Hawkins. I'm a traveling singer-songwriter, and this is one video of a much longer France travel series. I just finished up a month-long artist-in-residence program in Cannes en Roussillon, where I got to spend a month on the beach writing songs. It was incredible and now I'm very fortunate I have a little time to do some traveling throughout France and share it with all of you. I will be spending two nights here in Montpellier before I move on to my next destination. And I just got in this afternoon from Toulouse. If you wanna check out my Toulouse video, you can find that on my channel. And I've scheduled a free walking tour for tomorrow morning, which means I have the rest of today to just wander aimlessly since I think tomorrow's walking will be a little more structured. <laughs> I totally happened upon this bookstore by accident, but it is absolutely the kind of place that I would have bookmarked and planned my day around finding because it is so cute. They even have a sign up that says if you didn't bring anything to read and you're here in the cafe, you can just read one of the used books that they have for sale. I love it here. <laughs> As you can see, I'm just walking past Montpellier's Arc de Triomphe, uh, but this will be on the walking tour tomorrow, so I'll be back then and we'll probably have a bit more to say about where I am. I have developed a new insecurity in relation to how much of a French accent I put on when I'm speaking English but saying a word or two that is in French. For example, just then I said Arc de Triomphe, and I feel like I said Arc with an American accent and then Triomphe, very, very French, and I'm self-conscious now. Cause the time is advancing and I'm here slow dancing feeling it's all part of the fall I am here outside of Eglise Saint Roche which I think is actually a stop on the tour tomorrow also but I'm here, I've decided we're going in anyway. <laughs> this church opened in the year 1861, despite the fact that it is actually unfinished. You can see in the back of the cathedral from the outside where there are pillars and walls that aren't quite connected. It's really, really beautiful, especially with the trees and the greenery surrounding it. how much I'm really, really enjoying just wandering around these tiny winding streets here in Montpellier. They're so beautiful and I have seen so many bookstores which makes me so happy. It's just a really, really cute part of town and I really like that I don't have an agenda right now. That said, I do think that it's time for a little apéro so we're gonna find a happy hour. <laughs> Good morning. It is another absolutely gorgeous day here in Montpellier and I'm so excited because today we are headed off on our walking tour. So that means we're going to get to see all the major sightseeing spots here in Montpellier starting with Place de la Comédie. Just above me here is a mosaic that is a representation of the oldest music school in Montpellier. It dated back to the Middle Ages, it's not there anymore, but you can still see uh, the remnants of a stained glass window up on the wall. It's really, really beautiful. Walking around this city like it's on the list of things to lose. Montpellier is obviously a very desirable place to live for many, many people. Our tour guide told us that the city is 30% students and 40% people who come here to retire. Behind me is the old operating amphitheater, which is where, when surgery was quite new to the world, people would come and watch surgeries be performed to study medicine. Montpellier as a city is quite known for medicine, as it is home to the oldest active medical school in the world, which we will be seeing later on this tour.
As you can maybe see through the trees, we just passed by l'église Saint Roche, and we didn't go inside on the tour, so I'm very glad that I went in yesterday. Now we are headed to a neighborhood called Sainte Anne, which is apparently a very artsy, bohemian neighborhood, and it's where the old music conservatory used to be. These arches here are all that remain from the old music conservatory. Obviously it was destroyed, so it doesn't exist here anymore. But interestingly, right across from it, over here, is Carré Sainte Anne. It was originally, of course, built to be a church, but it's now used as an art gallery. As you can see, I've made it back to the Arc de Triomphe, and now I know a little bit more about it than yesterday. It is the only Arc de Triomphe in the country that was not built for a war. It was built by Louis XV for his father, Louis XIV. Um, and while it does look quite similar to the one in Paris, it is much, much smaller. But the time I am here at the Aqueduct Saint Clement, which uh, dates back to 1766, and it supplies the city's fountains with water. It's also, I think, the highest point in the city, which is why it's a bit windy up here. <laughs> We just stopped by the Jardin des Plantes, or the botanical gardens here. Um, we didn't go in, but the next stop on the tour is the Faculty of Medicine and Montpellier Cathedral, which I'm very much looking forward to. The Faculty of Medicine is the world's oldest uh, medical school, and it dates back to the 12th century, which is incredible. The tour has just ended and I have made a friend. Hi! <laughs> so we are headed to get some lunch because the cathedral, which we want to go inside, doesn't open for two and a half hours. So we're gonna hang out and then visit the cathedral. <laughs> Maybe let's get some drinks. Maybe we're getting some drinks. <laughs> this is a good friend I've found. <laughs> We just had an amazing lunch and some delicious desserts from a cafe back by Carré Sainte Anne. And now it's time, the cathedral has opened. We're gonna go see what the inside looks like. Yes! <laughs> What a perfect afternoon here in Montpellier. The walking tour was great and of course it was so nice to meet Tanya and have a, a buddy for lunch and a little more sightseeing after the tour ended. I hope you enjoyed this Montpellier video. I have had such a great time in this city. If you liked the music in this video, it is, as always, one of my original songs, which you can find linked in the video description or anywhere you get your music online by searching Claire Hawkins. Thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe because there are many, many more videos from my travels around France coming very soon. I'll see you then.